This is Matthew Cratter's Bitcoin University. Today I want to review a new hardware wallet. This is the Blockstream Jade Plus. Disclaimers, I'm not being paid or compensated in any way by Blockstream or anyone else to make this video. And I also paid for my own Jade Plus. Now just a little bit of review for newcomers to the channel. Hardware wallets do not store your Bitcoin. Hardware wallets actually just store your private keys. And your Bitcoin is simply a series of records on the globally distributed ledger that we call the Bitcoin blockchain. So why do you need a hardware wallet? You need it for a number of very important reasons. Number one, you need a hardware wallet in order to safely generate a truly random seed. This is your 12 or 24 words. You should never pick these words yourself to safely generate a truly random seed offline. And then from that seed, billions of Bitcoin addresses and their respective private keys can be derived. Your seed should never touch the internet or be shared, emailed, texted, photographed, uploaded to the cloud, showed to anyone in public or anything like this because anyone who has your seed can steal your Bitcoin. Number two, the purpose of having a hardware wallet is to store your seed in a protected way because anyone who has your seed can steal your Bitcoin. So a hardware wallet will enable you to store your seed in a hidden way and also to travel around with your seed if you need to in an encrypted form. Number three, why do you need a hardware wallet? You really need it to safely sign transactions in an offline manner that doesn't leak your keys to the internet. When you send Bitcoin, you need to sign the transaction with your private keys in order to prove to the network that you have ownership or control of those UTXOs. You build a transaction, then you pass that transaction to your hardware wallet to sign, and then you retrieve the signed transaction and broadcast it to the Bitcoin network. And during this process, your private keys are seed or never exposed. Hardware wallets really are the best cold storage solution. If you've heard of cold storage, hot wallets are intended for smaller amounts of Bitcoin, not huge savings, but just as much money as you would hold in your purse or wallet. Hot wallets are just any Bitcoin wallet that's connected to the internet, like a mobile software wallet on your phone, for example. And these are much less safe because your seed may be harvested by malware or otherwise exposed to the internet or even exposed to the internet when you're signing a transaction. So these are the three purposes of owning a hardware wallet to safely generate a random seed, to store that seed, and then to sign transactions. I've reviewed the Blockstream Jade, the Jade Classic in the past. This is still a great hardware wallet at a really good price point, $79. What we're going to be looking at today is the next level up. This is the new Jade Plus, and it starts for the black casing at $149, including free international shipping. The one that I bought and received in the mail is the Lunar Silver, I believe. And then there's also the Genesis Gray. So these two, the ones that are more metallic, are $20 more than the black one. I do really like the metal look of this. And so this really does put this in the same ballpark with other good Bitcoin hardware wallets like the Cold, Fart, Cold Card, for example, which is at uh, approximately $168. It makes sense to have multiple uh, hardware wallets from multiple vendors, especially if you're doing multi-vendor, uh, multi-sig. Now, what are some advantages of the Jade Plus over the Jade Classic? Obviously, you're paying more money, so what do you get? You get a much more substantial to the touch hardware wallet. There's much more metal, much less plastic. I really like the way that it feels. It doesn't feel as cheap as the Jade Classic. You also get a larger screen. You get more intuitive buttons as we're gonna see. You get in built, you get built in hardware authentication. So you know that the, uh, the wallet itself can check that it's from Blockstream. You also get a higher resolution camera, which can be very helpful for reading Bitcoin QR codes. And this uh, Jade Plus can be used either in a completely air-gapped manner with QR codes or Bluetooth, or also through connecting through the USB port of your laptop or desktop. Before we proceed, if you're finding this video helpful so far, I just ask you to help to support this channel's educational mission. Hit the subscribe button. That does really help this channel's reach. Leave a like, leave a comment, question, suggestion for a future video. Share this video with a friend or family member. Now, like the Jade Classic, the Jade Plus does not have what's called a secure element. This is a special chip inside the hardware wallet that stores sensitive information like your seed. Rather, the Jade Plus, just like the Jade Classic, relies on what they call a virtual secure element. This is a little bit tricky to explain, but let me try here. Hopefully I get this correct. When you set up your Jade, you create a pin to log into it, and then your seed is encrypted using a key derived from this pin and a blind oracle 
uh, over on a Blockstream server. And then when you want to sign a transaction, you enter your PIN to unlock the Jade. Then the Jade communicates through, in this case, the paired app, which is Blockstream Green. It communicates with the Blockstream server requesting a decryption key. And once it receives that key, it then will allow you to sign transactions. Very important, this remote Blockstream server acts as what's called a blind oracle. So it can verify your PIN without ever knowing what your actual PIN is, thanks to the magic of cryptography, only providing the decryption key if the correct PIN is entered. And if Blockstream servers are ever down, what you'll need to do is you'll need to either factory reset your hardware wallet, or there's a function where you can do turn it into a temporary signer and just enter your recovery seed. Your recovery seed, the only place you should ever enter it is into a trusted hardware wallet. You should never enter it online or into a web browser or anything like this. And you should never share it with anyone. If anyone asks for your seed, you can be sure that they're a scammer. So if Blockstream servers are ever down, you can either factory reset the hardware wallet or you can just set it up as a temporary signer manually enter your recovery seed, your 12 or 24 words to use. Now, one of the nice things about having a virtual secure element is that it allows both the firmware and the hardware to be completely open source and viewable. And there's also no physical attack vector where your seed can be forcibly extracted from the hardware wallet, from the Jade Plus or Jade Classic if someone gets their hands on it, since there is no physical secure element. The Jade Plus also comes with the ability to connect an SD card reader or a USB storage drive, and this can help if you want to upgrade the firmware in an air-gapped manner. We're not going to be looking at this today, but you can actually buy a small, uh, a couple of these small devices from Blockstream itself or elsewhere. Now, there are many different ways to use the Jade Plus. Today, I'm going to be focusing on using it with the Blockstream Green app on my iPhone, so a mobile solution. What's going to happen is your seed is generated by the Jade Plus. It's never shared with the green app on your phone. Instead, the Jade Plus signs transactions and then passes them back to the green app from which they're broadcast to the Bitcoin network. In today's example, using one of Blockstream's nodes. So how can we be sure this is happening? We can be sure because all of the firmware, all of the software, all of the hardware is open source. There are many eyes on this project. And if Blockstream tried to rug, it, rug its users or steal their seeds or something like this, this would immediately become apparent and people would start talking about it on Twitter. And that would be the end of Blockstream Jade. So this is how the incentives work. And having it be open source makes this much easier and much more enforceable. So we're going to start by downloading Blockstream Green for iPhone. You can do this on Android, obviously. You can do it on desktop as well. There's a Blockstream Green for desktop. Now I've already downloaded the Blockstream Green app for my phone. So here I'm just going to open up the app. I'm going to agree to the terms and service and the privacy policy. I'll click get started. I'm going to secure my funds on a hardware wallet. And now what I need to do is connect the Jade. So we're going to, I'm going to click Connect Jade, and then we're going to go over and take a look at the Jade itself. So here we are. This is what the Jade looks like. This is the silver casing, and it basically has very minimalist buttons. The power button is this single button right here on this side, so I'll just press that to power it up. You hold it down until the screen comes on, and now we can see it booting up. This is, I've set this up once, and then I factory reset it. Uh, so yours might look slightly different if it's straight out of the box, but this is basically still needs to be set up. So we have that power button on the side. We have these two toggle buttons on the top that allow you to toggle right and toggle left through the various menu options. And then you can press them both to select, or you can press this button on top uh, to the right of the screen. And this will also allow you to select things. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set up the jade. So I will toggle uh, until that's selected, that turns green. I'll press this button. And now it says for setup instructions, visit Blockstream gray, uh, blockstream.com forward slash jade. I already have the, the app downloaded on my phone. So I'm just going to click continue here. I'm going to click begin setup. I'm going to click create a new wallet. If you want to restore an old wallet, your old, 12, your old 12 or 24 words, you could click restore wallet, but I'm going to have it generate a completely new seed, completely new 12 words. So I'll click create new wallet. These words are your wallet. Keep them protected and offline. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write them down. I don't want to share them online right now, uh, but I'll be right back after I write them down, after I press continue. So now it's going to ask me to confirm a number of the words in order to make sure that I wrote them down 
correctly. So I'll, I will be showing these on screen, even though I won't be showing my own 12, the whole 12 words. And don't use any of these words in this order. Uh, this wallet is now compromised because it's been published. You're not going to see all 12 words, but someone could probably guess the remaining words if they see enough of these. So we need to first confirm word one. So I wrote down the word and that word is actually topple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to scroll between. I can use these two menu buttons on top. I scroll to topple and then I click the select button on top. That confirms that word. Now I want to confirm word number four, which is patch. So I'll toggle through here until I get to patch. I'll select it. Confirm word number nine, which is chuckle. I'll scroll through here until I get to chuckle. I'll select that. Confirm word 11, which is uh, juice. I will click through here, select juice. Now I need to select a connection. For the purposes of this, I'm going to use uh, Bluetooth today, though you can also use USB or QR. I will select that. And now we can see that it is being noticed on my phone in the Blockstream green app. So I can just select that on the phone and Let's see if it's going to pair. So now it's uh, it's giving me a pairing request on the phone saying Bluetooth pairing request Jade, and then it has the device number. Would like to pair with your iPhone, so I'm going to confirm it on my uh, Jade and also click pair on my iPhone. So these two are paired. Now on the iPhone, I will click continue. Okay, it says new Jade Plus connected. A new device has been detected. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure that it is genuine, uh, genuine pro, uh, a genuine Blockstream uh, hardware wallet. So I'll click genuine check. And now on the phone, what I need to do, I'm sorry, on the hardware wallet, it says sign genuine check. I will click, I will uh, uh, select yes and press the, uh, the select button. And now we can see that it's done a check to make sure that this isn't actually a Blockstream device. Your Jade is genuine. We could, we could successfully verify your Jade. Uh, Etc. So now I just click on the phone, click uh, continue with Jade, and we should be all set. We just need to set up a pin now. And so um, I'll click continue on the phone, and now it's going to ask me to select a pin. So I'm just going to use a very simple one here. You should definitely not use something quite this simple, but I'm going to enter one, two, three, four five and six. And so what's going to do now is it's going to take this pin and magically cryptographically meld it with the seed. And this is what's going to secure this wallet now. So I just need to confirm it. I'll be back in a second after I confirm it. Okay, I've now confirmed my pin. I will click this and it says persisting pin data. So now we're all set up. We can see that the the uh, Jade is unlocked and we can go through the look at the various options under session. We have a chance if we want to log out or sleep, we can do that. Uh, we can use the scan QR code, which is a subject for a different, a different day. We could also look under options here. We'll click the select button. This is where under device, you can factory reset your, your Jade Plus if you want to. You can also export the XPUB. For example, if we were pairing this with Sparrow, that's what we would do. But what we're, we're going to do now, because everything's basically all set up on our phone, is we're going to go back to the phone. We can see here that we have an account here and we have the ability to send or receive. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to receive some sats into, into this. I'll click, um, uh, first thing I'm going to do is let's go to my Aqua wallet and uh, actually we need to go back here. Let's generate a receive address. We will copy this address. We can also verify it on the device, which is very useful. Let's do that right now to make sure that we're sending it to an address that's controlled by this. So we'll just click verify on device. And now we can see we can compare the Bitcoin receive address on the screen with what's on the iPhone screen and also the screen of the Jade Plus. And this is to make sure that we know that the, uh, the green app on my phone is not generating a fake address that would send it somewhere else. So we verified the address. Everything looks good here. And so now all we need to do is copy the address and then we're going to go over to, I'm going to go over to my Aqua wallet and I'm going to send some money over, send some sets over. Um, I will paste from Aqua. I will put this 
and uh, we will click continue. How much should I send? Let's send about 0 0.002. I'm sorry, 0 0.0002. That's about $20. So I will click uh, done. I will click continue. I will choose the priority six sats per vbyte, and I will slide uh, slide to send. And so now this is being broadcast to the Bitcoin network, sending uh, 20,000 sats. And we can now go back over to the Blockstream Green app. Let's go back and we'll wait for this to show up. While we're waiting for this, let's see if there's anything else to discuss here. Uh, we already talked about the genuine check to make sure that the hardware is uh, correct, that it's a real uh, Jade Plus sent to you from, from Blockstream. So let's just wait for this transaction to clear and I will be right back with you. Okay, it looks like we've gotten our first confirmation. So this Bitcoin has been sent into cold storage here. Now to finish out this video, I'm gonna show you how to send it back out. So I'm gonna send it back out to the Aqua wallet. So we'll go back to Aqua here. We'll generate a receive address and we will uh, copy it there. And then we'll go back over to Blockstream Green. We are gonna send the full amount. We'll just paste in that address that we just copied from, uh, from the Aqua wallet, allow paste. And I'm gonna send the maximum amount. I'll send all, so it's about $19.95, 19,779 sats. Uh, this looks like a two sats per V-byte fee. I'm going to change the speed, make it a little bit faster. We will do fast, uh, which I guess is to 2.37 sats. Next, we will click uh, next, and this will show the address that's being sent to. This will confirm the amount, and now I'm going to slide to send it. Now we can see here, if you just have my phone, you're not able to send this transaction. And so I need to confirm this actually on the Jade uh, in, order to, uh, in order to send. So let's try doing that one more time. I will slide to send. I will go over to confirm the transaction on my device. It looks like I have to quickly unlock it, so bear with me while I do that. Okay, now I've unlocked my device. It's opening it up. I can check here. I can check this address and confirm that's the same address that's on my phone. It tells me how much I'm sending. I'll click the select button, and now I, I can confirm the fee, uh, 261 sats. I will click check, and this is basically going to sign this transaction. So again, there's no way to send the Bitcoin out of this address without having the Jade Plus itself. If someone stole my phone, they could not do it just using that. So now uh, it says confirm transaction on your device, transaction successful. So that has now been sent into the mempools of all the nodes and is being propagated across the Bitcoin network. So I hope that gives you a good idea of how this works. I forgot to mention this actually comes with a little charging cable that will also allow you to connect it to your computer. Um, and you probably want to charge this by plugging it into the wall rather than plug it in, into your computer. At least that's what I would do. But all in all, I think it's a solid hardware wallet. I really like it. It's definitely a step up uh, from the Jade Classic. I love the big screen and I love how easy it is to pair with the green app on my phone. So hopefully you found that video, that demo helpful. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, question, suggestion for a future video, share this video with a friend or family member, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.